thank everyone uh, at the Skyscraper Museum. And uh, uh, I, I uh, speaking for myself, can't wait to uh, get back down to the bookstore and, uh, and, and browse around. Uh, there's something about that bookstore that's just, that just draws you right in. So, so I'm going to speed everything up and, and, and move on for a few minutes. So I'll uh, uh, talk for probably about 30 minutes, and then I'd like to uh, have uh, questions and discussion and, and more of a conversation. Well, she was the girl from Scranton, uh, a housewife who shunned credentials, uh, had no college degree, and moved to New York in the 1930s, fell in love with the old neighborhoods of the city, uh, became a savvy community activist, and wrote a book, The Death and Life of Great American Cities, that revolutionized uh, planning and, and changed the way that we think about cities. Uh, if we could have the next slide, please. He was the power broker, uh, dapper and swaggering, on a swim team at Yale with a PhD from Oxford, who single-handedly built the New York City that we know today. It's bridges and byways, tunnels, uh, parks, swimming pools, Jones Beach, the UN building, Shea Stadium, and of course the housing towers that rose in the era of urban renewal. This book tells the story of their collision. It's a David and Goliath story. Uh, it's about an extraordinary man, to be sure, but a remarkable woman who had the courage and gumption to stand up in a field at the time, of course, completely dominated by men. And her critique of urban renewal and the excesses of modernism, and her keen eye and appreciation for the human scale of urban neighborhoods, endures in principles that are uniformly embraced in, plan in the planning and design professions to this day. My hope uh, in telling this story, a very personal human drama and a, and a good story, I believe, um, is that we can all learn something about how our great cities can thrive today. Uh, cities, after all, I believe, are the greenest form of human settlement that we can aspire to. Uh, there, there, there are places of uh, density and transit. Uh, we have our first urban president in a long time. And uh, uh, cities are taking center stage, I believe, as uh, we face up to the challenges of energy and climate change. Uh, there, there are places as well we can walk or ride a bike, and certainly that's true right here in this environment. Uh, my uh, car actually overheated on Storo Drive on the way to my book launch party this summer, and I was sure that it was the ghost of Jane Jacobs <laughs> telling me that I was using it too much. So I went out and bought a Prius and uh, have been trying to take the tea a bit more. All across the country, uh, cities are hard at work building on their assets, doing infill and redevelopment, revitalizing, taking advantage of established and expanded transit. All this is in stark contrast to the last half century uh, where we've had uh, sprawling subdivisions and strip malls uh, and spreading ourselves rather thinly across the landscape. Uh, many of us are, are quite dedicated to this notion of sustainable urbanism. Uh, and Jane Jacobs was really quite prescient 